All right, what's going on, y'all? So we back again. What's going on, everybody? And uh, this time we're gonna review Ubisoft's E3 press conference, which we gonna keep it real with y'all. That shit was ass. And uh, it was pretty disappointing. Me, Ricky, and everybody we knew, uh, Kal-El from Tick Podcast, um, you know, and his crew, all of them were there. It was so bad that we walked out. We're not joking. First of all, we get, so we got into... They put uh, us in a hallway. So pretty much, let's be honest, they put us in a, in a damn hallway, Fucking right? Hallway. It was the, it was when, it, it's for uh, when the actual conference is full. They have a secondary room that they put you in to watch the conference. Fucking disrespectful. Yeah, it was pretty disrespectful. I was like, really? Really, bro? They were um, like, hey guys, come in. And I'm like, oh shit, we're ready. Exactly. And then we come in, they sat us in a fucking hallway. So, yeah, it was fucking pretty much asshole. somebody's room. Like, it was like they pretty much brought us into somebody's living, living room and they, they had us like projector set up of the live stream. We could have just watched it on our phone. But if, if the conference was at least good, we could have dealt with that, right? But, uh, no. So first of all, they started off with <laughs> wild, fucking. they started off with Wildlands. Wildlands, see one thing Ubisoft isn't doing anymore, they are not catfishing, fooling us, and doing the misrepresentation of the visuals anymore, right? They're not doing the false advertisement. So they're showing us what the game is really gonna look like. And it looked pretty disappointing. Wildlands, the vi I don't, some people watching it on Twitch or YouTube might not have been able to see it that well, but the animation looked terrible. Um, the, the visually, it didn't look very good at all. Honestly, I feel like the division looked better. Yeah, Wildlands is still in development, but even for the stage that it's in, it just didn't look good visually. Even the certain like technical things about it were kind of disappointing. Gameplay just looked average. So you know, it was, I just felt like it was a really bad showing I, of I'm Wildlands. So, I, I'm sorry, man. Fuck this whole professional shit. I, I, I got to put this out here. Ubisoft has a has a, are slick. You know, they always have the acted um, acted out online members. You know, with the whole communication. I think they do that specifically when they did that with um, the division, especially with Recon, because I I didn't I didn't care about how it looked. I know it's in development, but it was so boring to watch, and I felt like them show showcasing how they completed a mission, how boring it could actually get without the use of communication. And don't get me wrong. Playing that game with your friends, you're obviously going to communicate. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the force of it, if you just don't go into some location and just go in, I don't think you're going to get the right feedback from the game. I don't think the results are going to be as fun. That game, I knew, it's like, I, I don't even know what to say. Sir, sir, so we got, we got, we got a witness. Chris here. Kazama here. Yo. He was actually with us at the, what do you think about the Ubisoft conference? <sighs> Exactly. It was terrible. It was, it, it was honey buns. It, it was buns. it was pretty bad. So after that, um, after Wildlands, they showed uh, South Park. South Park was it, South Park was funny. Not, South Park was funny. Now don't get me wrong, right? South Park. I love the first one, but if South Park is the best game you show at your conference, that's pretty bad. So, but South Park was just funny. The first one looked look great. If you didn't play it, um, I re highly recommend you play it. Great gameplay. They made some uh, improvements um, with they the battle system. Did. The customization and everything. Mm -hmm. um, they have a backstory for each character that you choose to become, um, whichever faction, I believe. They're basically inspired by the whole Marvel Civil War thing. You know, they had their own twist on it. I think it was pretty funny. Definitely dope. There's no holds bar. They use curses. I don't give a shit what you say. That shit looked hilarious. Yeah, so they improved the battle system. You can actually move around. It's not just... Uh, you know the old school, uh, you know RPG battle system. They made some improvements to that. It's gonna be funnier. They changed the theme um, from the first game, so that looked cool. Uh, after that, what was it? For Honor. What's the point? Yeah, it was For Honor. But they showed For Honor, which honestly is just like sh PC chivalry. It's just that chivalry game, their version of it. So upsetting. I swear to God, that was one of the games that I was hyped for the most. Then they want to show us this expansion for the division. Listen, I don't want to hear nothing from the division. I want to know when the next borough is coming. Right. You're giving us all these missions and shit. When are you giving me Brooklyn? People, stay pl Do people still play the division? Do people still play that? Apparently, people still play the division. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't submit to buying that game. And I don't mean to disrespect their conference because Ubisoft always has bangers. This is very upsetting. My first time out at E3 and they give us owls or birds in VR. I don't want to hear about that shit. That's when I knew I had to leave. They didn't want to show a Star Trek in VR. That's when I knew this wasn't the place for me. By the way, like, for honor, that battle system, it honestly reminded me of 
it was a little bit more you know complex than rise but i feel like rise honestly looked more appealing to me and, and, and looked more fun you know rise seemed like a better game than Ferranda to me so i'm really not looking forward to that game i don't know it just looks very stale monotonous and, and repetitive put in there from last year and just when we come out this year and the gameplay just kind of look good when we left they got ready to show some for the indie game going home i don't know what else they showed but and they could take that shit uh, South Park did get a release date. It's coming out this December, so that's good. Ooh, that's December yeah. 6, baby. December 6 is a, is a good release date. Not a lot of games are released in December, so they're going to let that game shine. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and I think that was pretty much it before well, pretty we... pretty much of what we saw because we left, and I apologize for yeah, that. We, we walked out. It just, it just wasn't worth our time. We should have just stayed home and watched it. I believe they did show some Assassin's Creed movie footage. And, I mean, the, the game is looking kind of... I mean, the... The movie is kind of looking, you know, decent from what we've seen. Um, pretty accurate to the game. So yeah, we overall just weren't impressed by Ubisoft. It's actually on my, at the bottom of my list yeah, of best Yeah, Bethesda was better than Ubisoft. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bethesda was way better than Ubisoft. Yep. Yeah, so. They put us in a fucking hallway. I'm done. So in my opinion, Ubisoft had the worst conference at E3. So we out of here. That's our Ubisoft review. Peace. We out of here. Peace out.